Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of How Logical. In today's tutorial episode, I'm going to guide you through how to sign up for iTunes. Watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Press the notification bell icon so that YouTube will notify you whenever we post a new video. Now let's get started. Click open a web browser and type in itunes.com and you'll end up in this page. Now you can go ahead and click on this back kind of icon at the upper right and click on sign in. Now if you already have an account, you can go ahead and sign into your account by entering your credentials. But if you'd like to create a new one, you'll need to create an Apple ID in order to access to your iTunes. Click on I don't have an Apple ID, create one now link and on the next page, you'll get to create an Apple ID for yourself. In order to access to your iTunes, iTunes, you'll need an Apple ID, so go ahead and type in your first name in the first text field. Make sure to enter every information correct. Now after you're done typing in the first name, move on to the next box and type in your last name. Select your country or your region from the drop down and type in your birthday on the next. Now create your new Apple ID in the text box. After you do so, Move on to the next field and create a password for your account. Make sure to use a strong password and your password consists of 8 or more characters. You should at least add one number to your password and it should also include an upper and lower case letters on your password. After you meet all the criteria, you'll be able to see that the criteria are highlighted in green. Once your password is strong, go ahead and type in the password one more time in the next field. Now after you're done, move on to the next field and select your country code and type in your phone number on the next field. Make sure to enter a correct phone number that you always have an access to since it will be used to verify your identity anytime you sign in on a new device. You can choose to select the verification with either text message option or a phone call. In order to receive a verification text code, you can either receive it with a text message or you'll simply receive a phone call from Apple. Now, if you'd like to get announcements, recommendations and updates about Apple products, services and software, leave the box checked and check the next box as well if you'd like to get new releases, exclusive content, special offers and much more from Apple. After you are done, type in the characters shown in the image right below in the box. Soon after you type it in, in the text box, the last thing to do is to click on this continue button at the bottom and you'll be able to create an Apple ID for your own. Once you have an Apple ID, simply go to itunes.com and simply sign into your account by clicking on this briefcase icon at the upper right, click on sign in from the expanded menu and simply type in your Apple ID and your password to log in. That is how you can easily sign up for iTunes. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial episodes. Goodbye till then.